Howdy folks, welcome back to my channel. We're out in the workshop and gonna do something fun today as usual. And you know, recently I found a box of old parts and inside the box was this. I'd actually forgotten about the box, it was packed away. This was one of the things inside there. And uh, it's the rotary dial from an old telephone. And I really have no idea where I got this, guys. You can see it has a 301 area code. I never lived in the 301 area code. I'm not even sure where that is. But uh, in any case, I have the dial. I don't have the whole phone. And I thought to myself, I wonder if I can make some sort of like, you know, the little, that little clickety click. I wondered if I could do something with that for like an audio source or something. So I started looking at it and uh, let's see here, let me pop this little plastic piece off. So let me show you guys here. Oh, good golly, these things are kind of a pain to get off. Let me grab a, okay, there we go. So there's a little plastic piece that covers the back. And so you can probably just kind of see here, there's two switches here. And that's where the wires come out. And as far as I can tell, one switch, it's, it's open. And then when you turn this dial at all, it closes. And then when the dial hits zero again, it's open. And the other switch seems to be closed. And as you turn the dial, it opens. So that's probably the one that I want. The blue one is probably the one that I want. So I thought, you know what? Somebody has probably done something like this. So I went and did some searching and it turns out Simon the Magpie and I actually follow his YouTube channel. He's a producer in Sweden and he does crazy experimentations. I actually follow his YouTube channel and somehow I'd never seen this video, but he did a video with one of these where he actually made a stutter effect out of it, which is exactly what I wanna do. So thank you, Simon, for the, uh, the template to follow. However, he is, as I mentioned, in Europe, so the inside of the phone is different. It has a different wiring scheme, but based on his, uh, tutorial, I think I can figure it out. So that's what I'm gonna try to do is try to make a stutter effect out of this. And so um, let's get started here. Now, first things first, I should probably tell you guys how to take this apart because if you wanna do this same thing, you're probably gonna, you know, it took me a minute to figure it out. So if you want to get, so this ring here, if you wanna get that off, turn all the way till it stops. Okay, like that. And then just turn it a little farther and it'll release. And then you get that off. Okay, and then you see this little thing here, the little, I'm not even sure what this is called, but the little stopper. If you look on this side, there's a little peg that holds it in. So if you just take, so you just push in on that peg with like a small screwdriver and that will slide right out. Okay, then if you just turn this, the, out, the plastic ring, just turn it a little bit and it pops right off. And so then you have the actual electronic piece here. And that's how I figured out what these switches do. That's still pretty hard to see, especially in this crappy lighting. I apologize, guys. It's overcast today and kind of sprinkling. So the lighting is not the greatest, but um, you can see those switches in there. So anyway, I'm gonna try it, see what we come up with. Okay, guys, doing a little prototyping here. Let me show you what I did. So I clipped some little alligator clips to the blue leads you can see there. Hopefully you can see that. Okay, and then I clipped each one of them to a quarter inch jack. And then the black one there goes between the two negatives. So basically, the tips of the jack or the positive are going to this. And then the two negatives of the two jacks or the, or the sleeves, however you wanna think about it, are clipped together, okay? So then I'm gonna take these down and I got a little cigar box amp here. And it doesn't really matter which one's input and output from what I can see. I've got a little cigar, cigar box amp here. So I'm gonna plug it into that. I know it's out of the frame, you can't see it. And then I have over here my Jarmageddon, my little glitch generator that uh, I did a separate video on this a while back, and I'm gonna plug that in to this side, to the other side. So we've got the cigar box amp, sorry, this is kind of hard to just, with the camera up here. Cigar box amp is plugged into this end, and the Jarmageddon is plugged into this end, and then we've got both ends, oh, now I got it all tangled, sorry. We got both ends plugged into this, this one just came off, sorry about that. So both ends plugged into our Rotary dial. So now let me flip on the Jarmageddon. Okay, so that is on. You can see the red light and it should just generate glitch sounds. Let me turn the amp on. Oh yeah, it's nice and loud. Okay, now let's watch what happens when I do this. Yeah! <laughs> That's exactly what I was looking for.
All right. Okay, so the prototype works. Let's go ahead and wire this thing up. Okay, guys, here we go. You can see the dial. And then both the blue wires are wired to the positive of the jack and the two negatives are wired together. And I think this is gonna work. Now I was trying to figure out how to mount it and I was thinking about how could I mount it in a box? What could I do? And I found this, it's a flower pot, but check this out. It fits like, like literally it's just a little bit tight, but it goes on there. So I think it's just gonna stay once I put it on there. So I'm gonna try to uh, do that. I'll drill a couple holes through here and, um, okay folks, here we go. So you can see we've got a jack on one side, jack on the other side. We've got that on the top using this little flower pot. It's not coming out of there. I mean, if you pull on it, it'll come out, but it, it actually, with no screws or, or anything, it really is not gonna come out of there. So um, this actually was fortuitous, worked out pretty well. So here we go. So let's just try it real quick. This cable is going to my amp. I'm gonna plug that in. And then this cable is coming from my Jarmageddon, the glitch generator. There we go. And. Ah, so cool. All right. Let's go test it out on some other sort of instrument. So that will conclude this DIY project. I took part of an old telephone and made a stutter effect with it. So that was kind of fun. And by the way, the word of the day is telephone. Hey guys, if you like what I do on this channel, go ahead and subscribe to Musical Miscellany to the Max. That's what we do here. We'll catch you next time.